to be very honest shorts and reels are well especially if you want to grow on social media quicker but if you're someone who like to create long form content like me then making times for reels can be tedious what if i tell you you can harvest shorts and reels from your existing long form content just by one click and trust me you don't need to leave adobe premiere pro for a second so today i'm going to show you how you can make short content from your existing long form content easily and effortlessly in adobe premiere pro are you ready to maximize your editing workflow Let's dive in. All right, I have got a new sequence here in Adobe Premiere Pro. The podcast is about one hour and five minutes long, and we don't want to go through the whole thing manually finding clips. We are going to use Brevity Adobe Premiere Pro plugin to do that. I'll put a link in the description below. You can just click on that link and you can download Brevity for Adobe Premiere Pro. Just download it and install it. After installing the Brevity plugin, go to your Adobe Premiere Pro and then go to Windows and there you'll see extension. And here you'll see Brevity plugin. Just click on this plugin to open it. You'll see there is a new panel. Just use your credential to log in. In Brevity panel, you'll see two main options. One is AutoCAD and the other one is Caption. If you're just looking to generate animated caption for your sequence, you can use the caption feature. Today, we are not going to cover that. I have already made a separate video about the caption feature. If you want, you can watch that video from here or you can just click on the link in the description below. But for now, let's focus on AutoCAD. So this is an hour long podcast. If you want to manually make 10 shots from this podcast, it will take maybe whole day. Let's automate it. First thing first, set to your in point and out point for the selection of the content that you want to work with. After that, click on this AutoCAD option. At the top, you'll see how many credits are available in your account and how many credits this job will use. Next, the spec ratio. Here you can select the spec ratio you want for your clips. They have offered the option to keep the original spec ratio if you want or you can just choose 9 by 16 for vertical video. I have talked with the developer. He said more aspect ratio will be added soon. Next from the layout option, you will choose how the clips will be laid out in the new sequence. You can go with blurred background. It will add a blurred background around the video. It looks cool if you want to make vertical video out of your horizontal content. Then the second option, no background. And the last option is fill that stretches the video to fill the whole frame. They will add a feature that automatically detects the active speaker and adjust the framing accordingly very soon. So stay tuned for that. Now select a caption preset. There are plenty of options ranging from dynamic style to basic straightforward. I'll just use the preset for this demo. From the transcription section, you can customize the transcription settings for your sequence. The default is accurate model, but it also offer a basic model if you need faster transcription. You can also toggle language detection to auto detect the language that has been spoken, or you can just manually select your language. If there are multiple language, you can choose more than one. I'll leave it set to auto detect for now. Below the transcription settings, you'll find four additional action, remove silence, this will automatically cut out any silent section from the clip. And then the next one is suggest emojis that adds relevant emojis to the clips based on your content. Next one is suggest stock media that recommends stock footages to enhance the clip. And lastly, suggest highlights. It identifies key moments from the captions and then highlight it to feature in the clips. Let's enable remove silence. For now, I'll just keep the default threshold here. Feel free to adjust the threshold according to your clip. Finally, let's toggle on suggest emojis, suggest stock media, and suggest highlights. Now the final moment, click on create. Brevity will render the audio from the sequence and transcribe the audio. It will use AI to identify different sections from the podcast that have the potential to be a good short service. Then it will automatically remove silences, will add emojis, and also will add suggested media and highlight the caption for each clip. And that took literally five minutes here on my computer. If you have a first internet connection, then it could be less for you. So Brevity has generated five relevant shorts out of this hour long podcast within a few minutes. When I click on any of the clips, the sequence will load up with the caption, stock media and emojis. Here is a quick preview up one shorts out of this five. Is that Ryan, that felt like 10 years of therapy in one hour without having to say a word. Wow. It is mind blowing. And this, <gasps> this type of breath work completely changed my life and that's what got me into this. And so it's just such an underutilized 
uh, yeah. technique. And so I'm on a mission to share it. And I have hundreds of people come to my monthly classes and I absolutely love it. I get flooded with emails and responses of yeah. all the good feedback people have. Yeah. Um, and so that's something I highly encourage people to check out because it's online. They could do it from the comfort of their own home. Sure. And it's really a, such a just incredible experience to really heal emotionally, mentally, and also tap in spiritually. People will have communications with relatives who have passed away. Yeah. I've had the craziest stories from my students of just going into these deep places and there's no pills, no shamanic rituals, no psychedelics. Right. So this is a natural, practical way to go and do deep work and to really create this incredible healing response in the wow. body. So this is just the starting point. You can further modify each sequence manually. Suppose you have found it that the clip started a little bit later. You can just click on the caption track and then on BreVD panel, you will see the caption. Select the retime tool and then you can retime the starting and ending point as your likings. And from the style section, you can change styling of your caption. Position of the caption also can be changed very easily. You can modify the colors too. I have a dedicated video on the topic. You can just watch that video from the link in the description. I like single line caption. If you want, you can make double line caption from the paragraph tool. Also, if you want to add or replace any clip, on your timeline then you can just use the media tool select the media tool and then select the clip that you want to replace from the vvd panel select a different one that's it it will automatically replace that clip to add a new clip select a section from the vvd transcription it will automatically suggest some clips depending on the selection you can manually search clip from here if you want now select full screen from the fill section and then click select on your clip. It will automatically download that clip and it will automatically place the clip on the exact position that you have selected. Also, you can change the duration of any B-roll clip or you can retime the clip very easily from the BreVD transcription panel. Just click and drag this section to make the clip duration a little bit longer or shorter. Now, here is our final video after some tweaks. Is that Ryan, that felt like 10 years of therapy in one hour without having to say a word. Wow. It is mind blowing. And this, this type of breath work completely changed my life and that's what got me into this. And so it's just such an underutilized uh, yeah. technique. And so I'm on a mission to share it and I have hundreds of people come to my monthly classes and I absolutely love it. I get flooded with emails and responses of yeah. all the good feedback people have. Yeah. Um, and so that's something I highly encourage people to check out because it's online. They could do it from the comfort of their own home. Sure. And it's really a, such a just incredible experience to really heal emotionally, mentally, and also tap in spiritually. People will have communications with relatives who have passed away. Yeah. I've had the craziest stories from my students of just going into these deep places and there's no pills, no shamanic rituals, no psychedelics. Right. So this is a natural, practical way to go and do deep work and to really create this incredible healing response in the wow. body. As you can see, AutoCAD has gone through and created multiple clips that are almost ready for social media. It's added emojis, inserted stock footages, removed silences, and even include highlights. All in just a few minutes. Honestly, it's an amazing tool. If you're editing content for podcast interviews or streams, then absolutely you need to check out VVD. This tool will save you a lot of time. If you want to massively speed up your workflow as an editor with social media content, you have got to give VVD a try. Head over to vvd.pro to get a week-long trial and test it yourself. If that works for you, you can just purchase their subscription and that subscription is affordable. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have enjoyed this video. It's pretty cool, right? I'll catch you on the next video. Until then, take care and have a great day. Goodbye.